The Snowman Song, A Christmas Story. It's true, you know, that people of snow send their thoughts around without making a sound. I want to sing, the little snowman sent this thought to his mother. I want to have a heavenly voice. It's Christmas time and I want to rejoice. I'm sorry, my son, you don't have a choice. A child of snow doesn't have a voice. But her little son snowman had so many strong wishes he wanted to share that he made a windstorm of whirling thought air. The cardinal's voice was so sweet and clear, he almost felt he had ears to hear. Why can't I sing like you, thought little snowman. Of course you can, but before you can change who you are, hold hope in your heart and look for a star. So the sad little snowman put on a brave face. He worked hard to replace his doubts and his fears with thoughts of sweet songs, music, bells ringing, and choirs. Deep in his soul, like warm, glowing fire, his bright wish remained, his one heart's desire. Each day was a chance to make a new start, but by night he cried ice and felt cold in his heart. Sometimes he looked up for signs in the sky, but nothing was happening and he couldn't make sounds. Despite all of his wishing, no one seemed aware that deep in the park, in the snow, he was there. But one day he woke up and something was new. The morning was crisp and the sky was bright blue. He felt powdery footsteps. Mom, look what I found. A small girl stood near him. Then she jumped up and down. For most of the day, she played beside him. She straightened his hat and turned up its brim. She draped her red winter scarf around his round middle. She sang him three songs and she told him a riddle. Then she dangled her store brought glass beads and charms all over his long carrot nose and both arms. Let's go home, said her mom. We'll come back and play another day. But the little girl didn't want to go home. Her once joyful thought took more somber tone. She ran up to the side of his sad snowy face and whispered these words, which felt like an embrace. I hear your voice, even though you can't speak. And then she leaned over and kissed his cold cheek. He wanted so much to sing just one small note, but nothing would come from his cold, hard snow throat. But something was happening. He just didn't know that where she had kissed him, she left a warm glow. So the snow melted slightly inside of his face and a hint of a smile had appeared just a trace.
The night before Christmas was the worst night he had. All around there was music. Everyone seemed glad. He silently stood in his place in the park. His feelings were frozen. His thoughts were so dark. His mother was worried. She felt his despair. And she tried to send comfort to him through the air. He knew that she cared, but his cold, heavy silence was too sad to share. He bowed his head and shut his eyes tight. Snow was starting to fall. It was such a cold night. With the last ounce of courage the only faith brings, his thoughts formed this prayer with frost-covered wings. Please let me sing a song filled with light. Then my life will be perfect, my thoughts will be right. And all of the sweet sounds angels used to stop doubt will burst forth from my heart and out of my mouth like a powdery snow over this holy night. He almost missed her soft steps in the snow. She was holding a candle that gave a warm glow. Round his neck there was twinkling, like spoons hitting glass. She just made him a necklace in her second grade class. Silver bells, gold stars, and snowflakes of blue. This was beautifully fashioned, and it made music too. Then the winter wind came, with a huge, forceful blast. The tinkling bell necklace swirled around very fast. And all of a sudden, with his mouth open wide, and heavenly music flew out from inside. His song was spring rains and violin strings, the fragrance of flowers and the hummingbird wings, words of great kindness and faith in our hymns, and the shine in our eyes and a little girl's whims. More joyful than angels, more peaceful than sleep, filled with longing and prayers and memories to keep. She knew he had heard her. It was golden and true. The wonder of Christmas surrounded these two. Join us tomorrow as the countdown continues.